I'm Demi Verbeek, I come from the Kuil Leuven Library, so in Belgium, and I'm the head of Artis, which is basically the library that is building collections and services for arts and humanities. In my library we're investing in digital humanities because I strongly believe that this is the future of libraries. This is where research is going. This is there's an opportunity of libraries here to have like a be real partners in research. Uh, and I think if we don't uh, change the way we do library work, we will lose our relevance to a large extent. I think the biggest challenges we have come across is basically that a lot of people in the humanities, more traditional, don't see the point just yet. Uh, and they actually are asking us for services that I have to explain to them, but what you're asking me is to support your digital means of doing research and you want to use digital collections without realizing that that is what you're asking for and that they simply do not see the correlation between how much we want to invest in this, in developing these services and these collections, which that this probably also means we should invest less in physical collections and in like a sort of traditional old-fashioned library work. Uh, what we do to overcome this is communication is talk, 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 and just try to have sort of, an, sort of an, a portfolio of successful projects where we not only work with the people who are already convinced, but actually also work with convincing people and showcasing success stories, basically. I think actually the future for digital humanities is there's a large component of this, and I trust that that will come to happen, is we no longer will speak of digital humanities. Humanities will mean that it will be so obvious that we also use it as a means to do this and that the library supports this and that is what it means to support humanities research. I also think that there will be a small fraction of what we now call digital humanities that probably will have another name then, which is going to be extremely advanced computer science work to deal with humanities subjects. Uh, and that I'm not completely convinced whether the library should be working on a lot of research and development in that field. That might be something to specialist, really research-based. Uh, but I think it will just be obvious that if you want to be a humanities library, you will be a digital humanities library. I think you need to do two things. I think indeed you need to make sure that the people using your library are convinced about this. And probably if you listen well to them, they're only asking for this, without maybe realizing that's what they're asking for, but they're asking for the library to develop services and collections to help them. The other thing is just make sure that you have the people deciding about the budgets to get them on board as well too. I think in some places it's become very uh, obvious because the director in charge is the person who also wants to try it, wants to do this. It becomes very difficult at institutions where you do not have anybody higher up the ladder to decide this is important, this should be our core business.